we're going to talk about the effects of rapid palatal expansion and I want to show you the patient that uh, just underwent the rapid palatal expansion with high rex appliance. This is a 10 year old girl and this is what we what we see is that she has this high rex appliance still in place. Active phase of suture opening and as you can see it's almost 89 millimeters of suture opening and this is the A point here and as we can see throughout the whole suture from the front to the uh, back air to the molar air, it's almost a parallel expansion both in the anterior and posterior regions. As we might, as we, uh, might know, the dental velar effects with the Hyrex type of appliance, appliance something that is tooth-borne uh, compared to bone-borne appliance, the dental velar effects cannot be avoided. So we have uh, this, these palatal cusps dumping uh, and touching the occlusal plane instead of having nice uh, buccal and lingual cusp being in the same plane. So this curve Wilson is accentuated after the uh, completion of uh, active phase of treatment. So I'm going to hold this appliance for another six months to uh, let the bone grow in between two maxillary halves. And I'm going to show you uh, the the amount of opening here. This is the clinical representation of the same patient and as you can see this Hyrex is with the bands on the first molars not touching any of the uh, baby molars because they're uh, they're ready to be replaced by the permanent teeth and we we see that the screw is still unopened so we instructed the patient to to do two turns a day, as previously described in one of my earliest videos, uh, I instruct the patients for the rapid pal palatal expansion and instruct them to do two activation turns in the morning and two in the evening with the initial two to three turns during the initial vi visit. Uh, this is what we get after a week. So I bring in the patient after a week of activation. So we, uh, we anticipate to have at least... 14 to 16 turns by then and this is the amount of uh, space opening in between the central incisors as you can see it's almost two two and a half millimeters and the screws opening so they're doing nice work at home and we start seeing this curve of Wilson being accentuated so she's still she's still uh, biting on her first molars but here in the front the bite is opening After two weeks, uh, we had almost eight millimeters in between the front teeth, and then we stopped the activation. So the amount of activation that we anticipate, we don't go beyond this palatal cusp touching the buccal cusp of the lower molar. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.